You stay inside. Yes, you do. just be too dark and gloomy for the quail in our new quail hutch. We're well into fall and the days are getting shorter and colder, but we really should have been getting eggs by now from our first batch of quail. We think the design of our quail hutch may just be a little too dark for them to lay eggs like they should. When we designed the hutch, we wanted it to feel really safe and enclosed because quail in their natural habitat would want to hide and be out of view of predators. To fix this problem, we're gonna try an experiment. That solar light should brighten things up in there a little bit. Because it's solar, it won't be on all night long. Hopefully, the quail will get just enough light to encourage egg laying. We're gonna try this for about a week. And if it does work, then I can build a little better, more permanent way of mounting that light in there. Right now, it's just kind of propped in there but uh, we'll see how it goes.
have a quail. You're all huddled right over on the light. That's a good thing. As long as we're talking about eggs, I thought I'd mention where our turkey really likes to lay her eggs. Indigo, what you doing? Being a good goat? Yeah. The turkey really likes making a nest right here underneath the goat feeder. And this is where we'll find her eggs. It's not ideal because sometimes the goats step on the eggs and then the turkey will eat the egg. Yes. It's perfectly healthy for the turkey or chickens or any bird to eat their own eggs. You just don't want to encourage it. Generally, it doesn't happen unless the eggs are already broken. Maybe I should research and figure out exactly how to build a better nest for the turkey so it would be a safer location to lay eggs. But the truth is, we're going to be eating this turkey relatively soon, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. It has been an enjoyable experience raising this turkey, so I think we'll probably be doing this again next year. So who knows, maybe I'll try and build some sort of a turkey house. What do you think, turkey? This isn't how I was hoping to end this video. We've tried the light with the quail for over a week without any success. This solar light proved too easy for the quail to unplug. The wire just kind of slips out off the top a little too easy. So they were turning it off. I ended up putting in a regular light fixture here and just manually plugging it, plugging it in and unplugging it to simulate longer daylight hours. And this light bulb was an LED, so it wouldn't get too hot for the quail. We have seven quail, all of them hatched from our incubator, and odds were that at least half of them could have been male. It looks like we just got unlucky enough to have all seven be male.